Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be looking at how to analyze your Google Sheets data with AI. So why do you need to analyze your Google Sheets data with AI? Well, because it is better at it than you. It is extremely powerful nowadays, and it is so quick to sort, filter, analyze, and pull out and extract data. It's just a, it's a no-brainer to start using it as a tool in your day-to-day -day workflow. So you may be thinking, well, this is not relevant to me because I do this type of industry. Well, I can pretty much uh, guarantee you that whatever industry you work in, you can use uh, sort of uh, analysis for uh, your benefit. So even things like uh, accounting, lawyers, uh, doctors, uh, especially today, the software that I'm going to be uh, showing you is uh, called Julius AI. Uh, here you can see sort of the back end. It is extremely highly geared for like scientific uh, analysis, forecasting, like regressions, all those like complicated statistics, things like that. But then you can also use it for like the, the layman like me who just wants to analyze a bit of sales data uh, for his online store and e-commerce data and pretty much uh, accounting data if I ever want to find discrepancies, things like that. So it's been working out really well. So how to get started if you want to do this? Uh, you want to get uh, ChatGPT Plus, uh, so it's, it's under a subscription. Then you need to add in a plugin. So you go down to the plugin store and you want to look for Sheets. Uh, it's going to be called Chat with Your Data. Just install it and connect it up to Julius. Uh, Julius did give me a, well, so it's, it's the name of the software, not the guys there, but they have given me a subscription. So I think you do have to have a subscription to get past some of the uh, free trial uh, stages. But then what you can do, uh, which is really cool, and then also I got Julius to make me a uh, data set of sales for the entire year, different people, different days, different uh, uh, SKUs. And what I can do is just copy this URL and go into Google Sheets. Obviously, you do have to make sure this plugin's activated. And then you say, can you see this data? And you just put it in like that and then uh, it's going to start working it's magic uh, yes go ahead <laughs> somebody asking if it can read that um, uh, it said it could but I didn't tell it to read the data so it's it's needed my permission so from time to time I may forward uh, fast fast forward parts of this video or cut parts of it out I'm not cutting uh, anything out because of that it's just because uh, these things don't, it's not that instant all the time. So it's got it. It has picked up this data set. I've just called it TBD data set. Would you like to provide a brief overview of what you would like to achieve with this data? Or should I start inspecting the first? Please get an understanding first. Yes, I know I could probably be a bit nicer to the AI, but it's, <laughs> it's not my prerogative at the moment. Let's see, try a There we go. Okay. So we have a little bit of teething issues, but it's gathered everything, all the headers. Uh, can you tell me what uh, you can do on the data? So I'm not even really thinking about it at this point. I'm letting it do its uh, thing. Cool. So it's giving some really nice uh, understandings here. Uh, visualization. I am quite interested in visual data. Uh, can you show me some charts, please? Okay, so this is the this is the caveat that you know if you want to do this in Sheets or BigQuery or or this or that, there's quite a lot of like manipulations and things like that you know, you, that you have to do, and it can take some time and it can be quite tedious. So you know once you've got this set up you can basically come back and return to it and keep updating the data set, which I'll also show you in a second, which is really, really cool. So let's see what it comes up with though. All right. Okay, I wasn't getting good vibes from here because it was saying things like failed to load and this and that. However, it has pulled through and it has given me top selling, top selling products. It has given me daily sales over time, distribution of selling prices, 
distribution of quantity purchased. Okay, now you can start getting specific. What SKUs do you think I should stop selling? So let's see, I'm assuming now it's going to ask for the least profit, it's gonna find the least profitable items. And then also jumping in over here, uh, there isn't a profit column. Uh, there's selling price and cost, but I'm assuming it's generating its own profit column with uh, some sort of Python script. With that, then it's going to be able to give me a answer, I'm hoping. Here we go. Analysis of the profit margins. See, the, 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 it's got the profit by SKU, or the lowest profit among all the products. It's worth noting that just because it has, doesn't necessarily mean it should be discontinued. Okay, customer loyalty. So it's giving you some really, really sound advice here. Uh, would you like to explore any other aspects? Well, what suggestions can you give me for stocking new lines? Before I hit enter, I have no clue if this is going to work. Um, what I'm anticipating it's going to do is... Okay, when I generated this data, I gave it anchor for nylon, hammer for metal. I don't really... <laughs> How it was supposed to be a hardware store selling stuff on Amazon, um, but I couldn't be bothered with, with making it too specific. So it kind of got it all right. Uh, yeah, I, I used the wrong terminology, so it didn't give me the best thing. But I'm assuming it's going to take these, work out the profitability on like utility knife or polyester, and then it's going to find, it's going to look for similar products and then hopefully spit that out. But let's see. Types of product. I should have maybe also said title in that circumstance as well. I think that would have made it a lot clearer. It has produced a list of the top 10 profitable products, best selling products by quantity, seasonal, quality over quantity, feedback and reviews, monitor inventory. Okay, not quite. Uh, so I'm going to ask it now based on the names or actually in this case titles of the top performing products. What other products can you recommend? So I'm not too sure. Maybe I'm being a bit, uh, see, see in a, I'm trying to analyze this for, you know, e-commerce data and okay, well, pliers and wrench sets, measuring tapes and levels. I wonder how it's figuring that out screwdriver as well it's probably doing some sort of analysis so maybe it's not looking at just the top 10 it's looking at all of them but there we go you've got that extra data now what i want to show you lastly is let's just go down let me go down all the way to this uh, i changed this <laughs> super large now i changed this to eight it was five i think um so let's say theoretically this is a live data set you know, importing with make or something like that. And what you can do is, can you refresh the data and let me know what has changed. So imagine now that you've got data coming in, live feeding from your system, and you can actually ask it, hey, how are my sales today? And it can actually start feeding this information out to you based on your real-time data. Now you've got a real-time AI assistant and now it's going to tell me exactly the changes that it's detected in this data set. Not that this is very necessary, but it's pretty interesting to see what, uh, what all it's doing, which of the rows have, because I didn't add any new rows or delete any row, which of the row, which, which of the rows have changed. There we go, Jacob Williams. <laughs> so it's picked up that that was a change. So you could ask it anything, you know, you could have that updating, like what new data has been added? Uh, what new data has been updated? If it's a da database that updates sales, you know, based on the uh, progress through the order chain, processing, completed, returned. Uh, so you can start analyzing that data and it really, really, really can start being a powerful tool. So uh, this is just the front end. Uh, this is just using the plugin. There is a whole back end uh, with uh, way more features, which we'll do another video on. 
uh, where you can load your data, you can have all your files down the side, uh, you can do a hell of a lot more in uh, Julius as well. And then I also want to do another video uh, coming up on uh, ChatGPT sort of native data analysis tool. But I thought now the plugin primarily because of the fact that you can just you can do this this last step that i showed you where you can update the data and keep the history sort of going so you can always be like okay last time uh yesterday i asked you for the sales and the following reports just run that again refresh the data tell me which rows have changed and give me the new data on that that pretty much sums it up uh, i could probably ramble on this for a lot longer the industries that it could be beneficial in but i really think you guys just need to give it a try uh, i think chat gpt has got a free trial on the uh premium version also julius has some free trial features uh yeah worth giving it a try i think it's going to be super super powerful especially if you're in the accounting or it or statistics or maths or any sort of those uh stem industries it's going to be incredibly useful all right guys till another time Cheers.